Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. Talk of the fight is Sean Porter's headbutts, his elbows, but um, what about the low blows that Errol Spence lands in his very aggressive body attack? Let's talk about it when we get back. Welcome to Real Life Boxing! <laughs> Blessed day and blessed love. Oh, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fire and this is real life boxing. Sean Porter vs. Errol Spence. Headbutts vs. <laughs> Headbutts vs. Low Blows. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash on the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded and you can be notified when we are going live here at Real Life Boxing. Now, welcome back to all the subscribers. If you're not subscribed, like I said, make sure you do subscribe. I was watching Errol Spence vs. Special K, Kel Brook last night. Um, very good fight, by the way. If you guys haven't seen that fight, make sure you go and watch it. Um, can learn a lot about Errol Spence in that fight. Um, good things and bad things, but obviously he stopped Kel Brook in... Um, I believe the 11th round but um let's talk about it I couldn't help but notice um, we know Errol Spence loves to go to the body religiously vicious body attacker I, I just couldn't help but notice the amount of low blows that Errol Spence was landing on Special K Cal Brook now um, the referee, he was saying, you know, he would tell Errol Spence every once in a while, you know, keep it up, keep it up. But a lot of them, he wasn't seeing. Errol Spence was doing something religiously in that fight with Kell Brook. He would jab, take a hard, a stiff jab, like really step in with his jab and then throw a rare um, uppercut from his backhand, from his left hand. You know what I'm saying? He's southpaw. So he would, he would take a really hard step in with his jab and then throw a uppercut from underneath. Now his uppercut was always going to the body. And I mean, he did this religiously in that fight from the opening round right up until he stopped Kell Brook. He would step in with a hard uppercut to the body. And then when Kell Brook started to defend it, he would step in with a hard jab and then just throw the two straight. That's what ultimately um, ended up getting Kell Brook out of there. But in the midst of him throwing those uppercuts to the body, a lot of those were low blows and the referee wouldn't catch them because he would be on the other side. And it's really, it's really quick. And Errol Spence's jab was so, he would take such a hard step in with that jab. By the time he got in with that jab, they were so close to each other. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can't really see if it's landing low or not. But Kel Brook wasn't really complaining about it. He complained about it a few times in which the referee like wouldn't even acknowledge it which was kind of weird to me because they were in Kell Brook's hometown but um I mean he landed enough low blows to be warned and to be penalized to me anyway um watching the fight just repeated low blows and not to say that he was doing it um on purpose obviously it was unintentionally but he goes to the body so much we see that in boxing you know sometimes with fighters that like to go to the body um, some fighters are really good at, at crouching up and covering and covering up. So you're trying to get underneath, you're trying to get behind. And sometimes you end up, um, you know, hitting to the body like, like, like Abner Mares against, um, Joseph Ad Ad Adbeko, the African guy. I think it was Adbeko. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but Abner Mares going to the body so much. And I mean, he was landing a lot of low blows in that fight in, 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 like, um, yeah, but I don't know if he was doing it, you know, on purpose, but, you know, he was going to the body. But like I said, sometimes when fighters go to the body, these things happen. So my thing is, since everybody's been worrying about Sean Porter 
in his headbutts. Like, why is nobody talking about um, the low blows that Errol Spence lands religiously as he's attempting to attack the body? Um, I think that this is something that could really help Sean Porter out in this fight if he plays into it. I'm going to make another video um, about this fight, Sean Porter's keys to victories, and this is going to be one of his keys um, to victories, is playing into, playing right into Errol Spence's game and see if he can draw some, you know, a warning or draw you know a penalty draw a point or two away from Errol Spence for for hidden low it's going to be very interesting it's going to be a very interesting fight but um I just wanted to do a quick video on that I wanted to point that out real quick um I, I just typed in Errol Spence low blows and immediately like a video there was a video about it about him versus Kell Brooks so I was like oh snap I'm not the only one who um I'm not the only one who peeped that but I'm fans of both fighters. I like Errol Spence. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I've said this openly that I'm not the biggest fan of Sean Porter's fighting style, but I do think that Sean Porter can box and um, it's going to be re really interesting. Um, really interesting to see how this fight plays out with Errol Spence, but I wanted to point that out and I want you guys to tell me about it in the comment section. If you guys have watched Errol Spence fight in the past, have you guys noticed um, any low blows, any serious amount of low blows from low blows from Errol Spence y'all let me know in the comment section until then keep fighting your fight protect yourself at all times peace and one love so if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel go to the PayPal link or the cash app link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video thanks for watching thanks for the support this is real life boxing